Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my March favorites, which I'm like, holy crap, how is March already over? I know I say that every single month, but it just seems like it's just flying by like so freaking fast, but such is life, I suppose. So I have a massive amount of random mixed up things. So let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm gonna start with beauty items and work my way towards the super random. The first thing I have is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. I have had this, I had one, um, and I used the entire thing. So I bought a new one and then I forgot that I had bought it. And I was cleaning out my makeup and found it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is brand new and started using it again. I probably used this one a good 10 or 12 times. And I just had forgotten how much I loved the Maybelline gel liner. Uh, I don't really care for the brush that comes with it. Excuse my dog as he tramples on pillows trying to make them more comfortable. But I don't care for the brush that came, comes with it, but I still love this. The next thing I have is the Milani Must Have Natural Zero One palette. They have like a whole lot of these. They have like must have naturals or um, another one, something like smoked out or something like that. Uh, but they have like four or five of these, I think. I have two of them. I have number one and number two. The number one I've been using quite a bit this month in to like replace my Stila palette because I felt like I was going overboard with it. And I'm actually wearing this today on my eyes. Uh, but I really, really like it. Um, I would wear a primer with it just to make sure it lasts all day. It is drugstore. But I mean, it's a palette for $7 and um, I just, I really like it. I think it is good quality and you do get good color payoff. It does powder quite a bit when you go to use it, but I'm willing to forgive that because it's drugstore, you get good quality color and um, it lasts. Then I have my Mags London makeup bag. I have had this for like two years and it was starting to get really dirty on the inside and even the outside too when you're doing your makeup and just like randomly touching things. But um, I threw it in my washer and it came out perfect. It looks brand new and I just, I love it. I think it's a really cute bag. This is the, oh my gosh, what is it called? I can't remember, I'll stick it in here. Uh, but it was my favorite one because it was very like girly and dainty and chic and I don't know, I just, I really, really like this one. Moving on to hair care, I have the Tresme Expert Reverse System. This is the conditioner and this is the shampoo. And what you're supposed to do with this is use the conditioner first and then shampoo your hair. And it's supposed to give you the moisture that you need while also helping you get more volume. Uh, I actually really like that. It's actually kind of funny because my grandma growing up, she used to tell me to shave with conditioner, which I was always like, why would I do that when they're shaving cream? And now of course I'm like, that's such a great idea because it like softens the hair and it moisturizes your skin at the same time. You're less likely to get razor burn. But she also used to tell us to condition our hair first and then do the shampoo which I was like okay yo grandma this is like you've got it all wrong that's backwards you shampoo first uh, I will say because when I wash my hair I'm always coming back from the gym and I'm all sweaty and gross and I'm all sweaty and gross I will say I do do a full wash with this and then I do my conditioner and then I wash again and the reason I do that is because I want the extra volume that it does give my hair, but at the same time, I wanna make sure that my hair is actually getting clean before I condition it and give it the moisture that it needs. So, uh, most shampoos tell you to uh, lather, rinse, repeat. So with this, I'm lathering, conditioning, repeating. <laughs> the next shower-oriented thing that I have is the Dove Deep Moisture Nourishing Body Wash Nutrum Moisture, 10 times more skin natural nourishment. <laughs> this is a big old boy. This is 34 fluid ounces, and I got it because I absolutely love this stuff. I use it as my body wash. I shave with it. Um, I pretty much, you know, do everything to my body with this. Uh, I really like it. It's almost empty now. I didn't realize how empty it was until I picked it up. 
so I'm going to have to get some more. What I use this with is a lupa that I got from the body shop and I find that it lathers just enough. It's not like overly lathering, but at the same time it's, you know, you're feeling like you're getting clean. I also like it because it doesn't strip my skin. I do tend to have a bit of dry skin and sometimes body washes can be a little bit too harsh for me. Even soap can be too harsh. And I like this because it doesn't strip my skin. I don't get out of the shower feeling drier than I did when I got in. And continuing with the shower thing, I have my Lush Bouncing Bunny Shower Jelly. There's very little of this guy left in there as you can see. I loved this. It is so citrusy, zingy smelling. Um, I just, I can't believe I've never used it before. I've actually placed a Lush order and ordered two more of these because I know they're going to be out of stock soon because it was an Easter thing. So I made sure I got some <laughs> before it goes out of stock. And basically you just take, tear off a tiny bit and I put it inside my loofah and just massage my loofah around and it lathers up and turns all soapy and you just feel so clean and your skin smells so good. It says, fill your shower with zesty scent of Brazilian orange oil. Mm. I love all things citrus, so this is definitely a plus. Then moving into skincare, I have the Purity Philosophy, Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. This stuff is amazing. This is like my third bottle now. It's so good. I love this stuff. I am going to splurge as soon as this one's gone and get the really big bottle. But um, it's really, really great. I use my Emma Hardy cleansing balm in the morning and at night. And then I was using the Rodan and Fields Reverse Exfoliating Wash, but I find it's a bit too exfoliating for me. So I'm using that at night and then I'm using this in the morning because I don't really need to exfoliate heavily in the morning. So I really like this. It's really, really gentle on my skin, which I do, I have like, dry to normal skin but it's also a bit sensitive and so because of that I have to be really careful about what I use on my face uh, because one time I used I can't remember what it was and I was just like raw red it was ridiculous how red I was so I really like this because it's really really gentle but it's also cleansing your face the next thing I have here is something that came in one of my QVC advent calendars uh, and this is the Algenist with Microalgae Oil, and it says Advanced Anti-Aging Repairing Oil. I really like this. I use this in my serum step in the mornings, and so like you go cleanse, tone, eye, serum, moisturize, sunscreen. This is what I use in my serum step in the mornings. It's almost gone, and I'm going to have to buy some, and I was just looking at Sephora. It's quite expensive. but. Um, I am going to repurchase because I just love how it makes my skin feel. And like I said, I I am like dry to normal and I'm a bit more dry in my T-zone area, which is funny because that's like where most people are a bit more oily, um, but I notice I'm really dry along my chin, my nose is always dry, and then my forehead is always, always dry. So I feel like Louis is snoring. So I feel like this really kind of moisturizes my skin while also acting as an anti-aging serum. Then I have the moisturizer I have been using. I've actually been using this off and on for years and I just went back to it um, late February, early February, sometime in February. Oh, it was uh, Valentine's Day because it was the day I got my Apple Watch, but it's the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. This stuff is so good, especially if you're dry. It is amazing and you just need the smallest amount for my entire face and neck decolletage area. I end up using about the size of a quarter, which is like not much considering how much area I'm covering. But I absolutely love it. I use this day and night um, just because I think it's amazing. <laughs> and finally in skincare, I have my Shiseido. I don't know how to say this. I forgot I was actually going to look it up and learn the pronunciation. <laughs> it's either Shiseido, Shisuido, Shisido. 
Ultimate Sun Protection Spray SPF 50 for face and body. I use this for both my face and body. The reason I use this on my face is because I have sensitive skin just like I mentioned and I have a tendency to have issues with sunscreen. I'm not sure what it is that's in the sunscreen that causes red marks, itchiness. Um, I, I don't know what it is, but there's something in certain brands of sunscreen that I have issues with. With this one, I found that I don't have any issues and it's a spray. And so I do two spritz over my face in the morning and then I do two more right around like noon and then two more right around 5 p.m. And that's just because I live in Hawaii. So I'm exposed to the sun all the time. And because I'm walking my dogs, I'm out in the sun a lot, at least four or five times a day. Because of that, I need to make sure that I'm always adding more sunscreen or else I'm gonna end up sunburnt like crazy. So I really like this. It helps keep me from getting sunburnt and frankly, it doesn't cause any irritation issues with my skin. Now, I'm not sure if this would be skincare related, but I have been loving the Dove Clinical Protection uh, deodorant. This is amazing because I work out in the mornings and I live somewhere where it's humid. I feel like I'm like sweating all the time. So I went to Target and I was looking for a new deodorant because I felt like my old one, which was also Dove, wasn't really up to the task. I was looking at deodorant and I saw their clinical ones. I was going to get the secret clinical, but I chose to go with this one because I had remembered seeing a good review on this and I have to say I love it. You, I put it on when I get out of the shower at night. I put it on and then before I go to the gym in the morning, I put it on again and I'm totally good. The reason you want to use this at night is because your sweat glands are like always open and it does take time to like build up that antiperspirant protection. So uh, by using it at night, it's actually protecting me in the morning. By using it in the morning, it's actually protecting me in the afternoon and the evening, kind of like that. So uh, I really would recommend this. The next thing I have is the Estee Lauder Sensuous Nude. I feel like this is such a summer scent. Like, I don't know, I just love it. Um, I'm almost out of this, so I'm gonna have to replace it. It's kind of like a really good everyday perfume. It's really not too heavy. The only thing that I would say is if you live somewhere humid like I do, I would recommend layering it on you. So spray it on your body after you get out of the shower. Um, and then when you put your clothes on, do a few more spritz on your clothes because it does seem like like when I was on the mainland, it lasted longer, it seemed like. I, I don't know if it's the humidity or what, but I just, I, I do like this, but I feel like here where it's so humid, like right now, there's like no ounce of breeze. Nothing is moving. So I just feel like it does better in less humid areas, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know. And then finally for the normal bits, I have the Essie uh, nail polish in watermelon. I love this. I feel like it's very spring slash summer and I would really recommend it. It's a super, super cute color. I wear it all the time now. Uh, I've had it for a while. I used to wear it all last summer too. So I definitely recommend this. Now moving into the super random bits. Uh, first is my Apple Watch. I got this in the month of February as a Valentine's diff. <laughs> diff. <laughs> I got this in the month of February as a Valentine's gift from my husband, Don, and I love it. It tracks my fitness, it tracks how many calories I've burned, how many steps I've taken, as well as it tells me when my phone's ringing, when I have a new text message, when I have a new Twitter notification. Um, it reminds me to stand up when I've been sitting for too long, which actually, luckily, it's only had to remind me once, so that's really good. But it just, it's kind of like everything in a watch, and I love it, so that is a favorite. I also have my Canon G7X, and that's because I've been daily vlogging like crazy and loving it. Uh, my daily vlog channel is always listed down below. But anyways, I love it. I feel like the autofocus is starting to go a little bit, but I mess with the settings and it seems like it's kind of still there. I would hate to have to repurchase this because it was an expensive camera, 
but it is a great camera all the same. And then because I have been dealing with massive, massive hay fever, <laughs> Allegra, I've been taking this every single day and it's finally starting to work. It's funny because here in Hawaii, there's things blooming all the time. So we don't really have like a hay fever time. Like most places, it's like happening right now where, they, where most people live. But for me, it's happening all the time. And luckily, Allegra is an allergy pill that works here. Most of them like Claritin or Zyrtec don't actually work here. There's like something blooming that they're not immune to or something like that. Uh, because the only one that myself and the pharmacist who recommended this have found is the Allegra that works. Then I have my Isogenics Isoline Shake, a delicious meal replacement, and this is in Creamy French Vanilla. I buy this in the individual packages because again, being in Hawaii where it's so humid, when you open a jar of like powdered stuff, it ends up getting like kind of firm from moisture being in it so I wanted to go with the individuals I love this stuff and it's really really great when you're on the go or after you have a workout and you're looking for something to eat uh, because as you guys know I'm working to lose weight still I really like this I would recommend it however it is a bit expensive but it's still worth it it tastes amazing I have tried the Melaleuca shakes, I've tried the Shakeology shakes, I mean I have tried so many different meal replacement shakes and this is the only one that I actually enjoy drinking. And the next thing I have is an orange. <laughs> oranges are finally in season and the Cara Cara oranges are my absolute favorite right now. They're like a red flesh on the inside and they are so juicy and taste so good. If you go to your local market, look for the ones that say Cara Cara. They are so good. It's ridiculous. And then I have what I like for just a little afternoon snack or when I'm looking for something kind of sweet. And that is the dried fancy apricots and these sunset ones. Prunes. I love these. I usually eat one prune with two apricots and they're so so good. The apricots, what I love about these is they don't actually use sugar on them when they're drying them, which is amazing. It used to be so hard to find dried fruit without sugar on it and now you can. For my favorite song this month, it is of course Pillow Talk by Zayn. I think everyone will probably be saying that, but let's face it, it's an effing amazing song. <laughs> My favorite TV show this month was House of Cards. I binged the entire thing. It was so good, but I felt like it ended very abruptly and with a few loose ends that didn't really need to be loose ends. They could have wrapped them up. I, I felt like they were, the writers got a tiny bit lazy at the end. For my favorite movie, it is Crimson Peak. I am not big on scary movies, especially watching them at night or by myself, uh, because I get scared very easily. <laughs> so uh, Crimson Peak was like the perfect type of like horror film for me because it had a really good script with really good dialogue, really good acting. And the scary bits were not super scary. Like they made sense that they were there, that it was happening. It was all part of the greater story. So it was very good and I highly recommend it. For my favorite blog this month, it's Hannah Mags. She is blogging super regularly now. She went a while, but I mean, she has like a kid and everything, but she went a while where she was kind of just doing like one a week, if that. And now she's done like four in the past week. So she's really, really on it. And I've always loved reading her blog. My favorite YouTuber this month is a new, well, they're not really new YouTubers, but they're new to me. I just found them. They are daily vloggers. They're called OK Baby. And they kind of remind me of super old school Sukoni Jolies. And that's not in any way saying like the Sukoni Jolies are changed and they're not like what they used to be or anything like that. I'm just saying it's a young couple. They just had a baby. He's only like, I think four or five months old or something like that. And 
uh, they're just, you know, just getting started in their YouTube career and I just, I like watching their channel. And that is everything for my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. I upload every single day on this channel. And if you are interested in anything I mentioned, I will leave links down below as well as more pictures and links on my blog. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.